Hi, this is Andrew, and this is our second illustrative application pertaining to the spot rates. In this problem, we have Glorimi making a purchase of raw materials from its foreign supplier. The transaction was entered into in July 2, and payment is due in 30 days. However, the reporting date is on July 31. The spot rates were also provided, but this time we have both the selling spot rate and the buying spot rate. And the requirement is for us to determine the gain or loss to be reported on July 31, the reporting date. To determine the gain or loss, the first thing we have to do is to take a look at the transaction and determine whether we are to use the selling spot rate or the buying spot rate. The transaction is a purchase. Therefore, we must consider the perspective of the buyer. From our discussions, we have already presented an illustration pertaining to the transaction of a buyer and a seller and the participation of the financial institution. As the buyer, we receive the goods purchased and we are to make the payment in the foreign currency. But since we do not have available foreign currency, we deal with the financial institution. And the transaction of the financial institution with the buyer will determine whether the selling spot rate or the buying spot rate will be used. Since the financial institution is selling the foreign currency to the buyer, then the financial institution shall use its selling spot rate. Next, since the spot rates are given as a direct exchange rate, we simply have to take a look at the change in the exchange rates from the transaction date July 2 and on the reporting date July 31. The difference in the spot rate of 0.01, we multiply that by the number of foreign currency units involved in this transaction which is 1,500,000. This shall yield an amount of 15,000. Next concern is whether this 15,000 is a gain or loss in the foreign currency transaction. Since the transaction is a purchase, meaning Glory May will be maintaining an account payable denominated in foreign currency. And since the spot rate from July 2 to July 31 increased by 0.01, the equivalent translated amount of the liability will also increase. Therefore, this 15,000 difference is a loss in the foreign currency transaction. And that shall be our illustrative application pertaining to the buying and the selling spot rates. Thank you.